This group, led by a man in a scream mask, robs a smoke shop in Queens. They demand the phones from all the customers and employees and take $3,000 cash from the register. So now New York City straight has scenes from the town happening in broad daylight. But one thing I'll point out is when ABC covered the story, they stated the Scream Mask guy had the quote, assault version. But looking closer at the guy, I'm thinking it's actually a honey badger, more specifically, the Ghetto Blaster. Now why some random company in Oregon made a variant specifically for blasting the ghetto is an entirely other story. It just always bugs me when news media outlets see the word AR and don't understand the A doesn't stand for assault. They've just become so comfortable telling fake stories as long as it helps push their spooky narrative. But what I do want to bring up is compliance, because here there was not much the employees or customers could do to defend themselves. And just because nobody was hurt in this particular incident doesn't mean we should just ignore or accept that these things are happening. Because as I mentioned earlier with the gas station robbery in Tupelo, Mississippi, or just as a scream robbery in Queens, the employee complied with everything. But tragically, the robber just decided to end him anyways. And again, the employee was completely defenseless and thought their best option was to comply and put their life in the hands of a criminal. Which is so puzzling to me, because when you see scenes like with the New York City Axe guy, because both people at the scene and viewers online just accept the fact that this person going crazy with an axe gets to decide whether they live or not. There's even several comments siding with the Axe guy, saying he had the right to destroy the McDonald's and scare the innocent girl, and how he was teaching them a lesson, calling him a hero. Look, I get it, if three people are attacking you, you can and should defend yourself. But at this moment here, it doesn't look like Axe Guy is in any imminent danger. Axe Guy is the one that threw the first punch, and more importantly, Axe Guy destroyed the neighborhood McDonald's and shoved a hatchet in the girl's face. And these people want to crown him as some sort of hero. And I don't use this phrase lightly, these people are legitimately crime cucks. Yes, please destroy my community and scare people unrelated to your problems. That's the liberal way. Because as their billboard says, if you don't like crime, you are the problem. Because whether it's, oh, X guy's just teaching these people a valuable lesson, or, oh, Scream Mask dude had the option to pop off, but he didn't, so let's just classify this as a property crime. These people need to realize they're allowing criminals to slowly chip away at society until we become the third world. Just look at this footage at a 7-Eleven, where he just casually strolls out without paying. Because I know there's people out there that will unironically say, how come we only see this color bear doing this? <laughs> or how come we never see polar bears in these videos? Because 100% of crime is committed by criminals. And aside from the crime cucks, 100% of people want criminals to face consequences. But once you start adding some bizarre political element to this, then we start voting against each other and our best interests. And somehow we end up with New York City looking like a Ben Affleck movie. So if you appreciate my concise, lighthearted take on current events, hopefully I've earned your subscription and you can help us get to 100,000 ducks. Make sure you turn on all notifications for this channel so you don't miss our live streams every Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And check out my video on how bad things are really getting in the cities because they're trying to hide it from you.